What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are all having an absolutely fantastic day. I know I am and if you are be sure to press the like button because no joke no scam. If you press the like button you'll get a real life Pikachu. Yeah, that's right. I talked to Ask Ketchum and uh, he told me that uh, he would sell me his Pikachu and give me clones of them to give to every person that presses the like button. So be sure to do that. Real talk though, guys. Today I have a subscriber story that's definitely a little bit crazy. It's about them stealing from their teacher. All right. Uh, a little bit ago, I told a story about robbing the cafeteria where me and my friends did the most intricate highbrow, high stakes heist of all time to steal some, uh, some good good from the cafeteria. But ladies and gentlemen, a subscriber sent me a story about them stealing from their teacher that I figured you guys would really enjoy. So, uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. 3, 2, 1, Arrivedanchi. So, basically, in my junior year of high school, there was a teacher that had this game that he played with all the students. He had a bell hung above his desk, and he basically said that for the past 10 years he's been teaching, he's had that bell up there. And if anybody steals it, they get extra points on the final exam, right? It was kind kind of a, a legend in the school because nobody was ever able to steal the dang bell. Regardless of how much they tried or how much effort they put in, he was always there to stop them or catch them right before they could steal it. And a couple rules of the game, though, is that, like, you couldn't do anything illegal to steal the bell. You couldn't do anything that would put people in danger to steal the bell. Like, you couldn't have a distraction in the hallway where your friend purposely shatters his fibia and paralyzes himself from the waist down in order to steal the bell. You can't, like, break into school when everyone's gone and steal the bell. You have to, like, steal the bell. So, basically, uh, I wasn't doing so hot in the class. You know, my grade was slipping a little bit. I could have really used a little bit of extra credit on the final exam just because, you know, hey, I'll take all the help I can get at this point. If I'm already barely passing, then any, every little bit of extra credit would definitely help me get my grade up. And there were a couple other people that I was chill with in the class that had the same dilemma, all right? They were like, okay, we need to get our grade up. It's super important that we get our grade up. So we come together and we're like, first of all, we're gonna be legends. No one's ever stolen the bell before. Nobody's ever even come close to stealing it before. Second of all, I really need the extra credit. So let's get together and actually plan out how we're gonna get away with the heist of the century, all right? I know what you're thinking. That guy in Korea that stole a billion dollars from banks, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter at all. But but, uh, you know, what we're about to do, next level. We're gonna be, like, the Olympic burglars. I think that would be a really good idea, though. We should have, like, a prisoner Olympics. Like, who's the best at armed robbery? I, I mean, it might cause a lot of crime, but, like, it would be pretty entertaining. All right, gentlemen, who's ready to rob the liquor store the fastest? Like, I, I don't know. I think the criminal Olympics would kind of slap low-key, but that's unrelated to the story. So, anyways, back to the story. So, we decide that we're gonna get together at, uh, the girl who was in our group, Jenny's house on Friday, and we're gonna play plan this out and make sure that we have the most together fantastic heist plan to ever exist because if you're not doing it great it doesn't matter so i go over to jenny's house to plan this heist and i knock on the door and like i hear a psst over to the side of the house and they had like this basement thing so I walk down and like the door opens and, like get in and I get in and like all the lights are off there's like two flashlights lighting the room and everybody else that we're doing the heist with the four of us are like they're the other three of them are gathered around this map of the school like with the flashlights right in the room wearing you know black beanies and all black and I'm like all right you guys might be a little bit intense okay I bought a quick silver hoodie uh, it's not black I don't really know if that's gonna cause a problem and ruin everything but this is also just the planning meeting like we're not stealing anything. Why are you guys being so serious? And as I'm kind of making fun of them for it, you know, Jenny grabs it. She's like, keep your voice down. We don't want anyone to hear. Like, and it's at this moment I realize this means a lot to them, all right? And uh, if it means a lot to people that I think are cool, like, I've got to do everything in my power to make sure this goes off without a hitch. I need to make sure that this heist goes off easily, no questions asked. So we start planning, and apparently uh, Jenny's older brother was the last person that did a very serious attempt at stealing the bell. And their attempt was basically along the lines of they had somebody skateboard down the hallway, and then the teacher, like, you know, was like, oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? and then they ran into the room and they were trying to grab the bell but it's like nailed to the wall so it was a whole process and they ended up failing so she's kind of like all right I think our best bet is to cause a distraction in the hallway and get him out of the room and then as he's in the hallway dealing with the distraction Ryan you've got to lock him into a conversation because you're good at talking to people and you know you guys are going to steal the bell so I'll be the distraction Ryan you'll talk to him and hold him as long as you can and you two steal the bell I already put hammers 
out, out outside and you can put them in your backpack to get the nails out of the bell and out of the wall. So basically, our game plan is to cause a distraction and distract him as long as possible. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'm vibing with it. No harm, no foul. And they're like, okay, we need to synchronize our watches so we have this time perfectly because if you're waiting outside when the distraction happened, Ryan, he's going to realize that something's off. So what you've got to do is be completely in sync with me down to the second where as soon as I'm done causing the distraction, you're there to talk to him and keep him there as long as possible. And I'm like, okay, well, are we going to like synchronize our watches? And they're like, yes. So over the next week at school, every day, we have to practice the timing. So, you know, she'll go down the hallway, cause the distraction, get the timing right. I'll walk around the corner as soon as the distraction is done. But she's not actually causing a distraction. You know, we're just pretending that she is, uh, you know, timing it right. And then they go to the classroom with the hammers in the backpack, and it takes them about 30 seconds to get to the bell. And they just pretend that they're coming in to ask him questions about homework. Typical, typical. So the next week is basically staking out this, making sure that this operation is going to be able to go off without a Hitch. And I'm not even lying. I'm feeling quite a bit like James Bond. I'm feeling smooth. I might wear a tuxedo that day just so I can feel even more like a spy. It's always been my life goal, you know, end up as a CIA suave guy driving an Aston Martin. That's probably not possible. I've made too many dumb videos on the internet. But what is possible is pretending that I'm a genius spy that's capable of stealing a bell. You know, like the CIA is going to call me up on the phone. Uh, yes, we need you to break in to the Kremlin in Moscow and steal all their secrets. We saw how good you are at stealing from no security in a classroom, so therefore you're recruited. Imagine if that's how it worked, like if you're really good at stealing from people, the FBI just comes to you and they're like, look, we knew that you stole a spicy chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A. We've never seen Shut's talents. Your fingers are so sticky you can actually climb a wall like Spider-Man. Join the FBI and become a spy. And I don't think that's how it works, but regardless, I'm feeling slick. Imagine, I've got a watch synchronized. I don't even know why that makes me feel so cool, but just saying it out loud just makes me feel like I've got my life together. We've been doing practice runs all week, dry runs, everything's going absolutely incredibly. I'm feeling suave, I'm feeling like a G. So finally that Friday comes, and this is the day where we're actually going to go for it and try to cause the prank. Like before, all practice runs, everything was dry, there was nothing that was actually going on. But today is the day, ladies and gentlemen, that we go hard in the paint. So, the timing basically goes as follows. She goes down the hallway causing a distraction. Obviously, our teacher being the one that stands at his door and greets all of his students sees the distraction first. So, he starts walking down the hallway after her. I didn't see all this. I'm just assuming that's what happened because the timing works out great. As soon as the distraction is ended, you know, she basically ran down the hallway screaming, Oh my god! Oh my god! To try to get him to follow her and be like, Wait, what's going on? Is everything okay? So, she's, you know, looking shaken up. She could cry on command, so she's crying. She's like, <laughs> So after he calms her down and everything's going good, which is a pretty good distraction, a crying, screaming girl, like in the grand scheme of things, pretty good distraction in the school because that doesn't happen every day unless, you know, Jimmy breaks up with Sally or whatever. I don't really care. Um, regardless, as soon as she gets calmed down by him, I come around the corner and I see him and I'm like, oh, hey, how you doing, man? What's going on? How's class? And he's like, oh, Ryan, I kind of got to get back. I'm like, I actually have a question for you. And I start asking him questions about what we were learning at the time because, you know, teachers love that crap. If you ever want to get a teacher off on a tangent, just start asking very specific questions that need a long answer about whatever it is you're learning in class, and it's like bait. They can't help it. They're like, I need to respond. You know the meme of the kid with the veins sticking out of his forehead? That's teachers whenever you ask anything about what they're teaching you. So I keep him locked down for maybe five minutes talking to me. He goes, hey, I'm late for this class. I got to go. Uh, stop by after if you want to have a conversation. I'm like, absolutely. Okay, no problem. And while we're doing all this, our team has gone into his classroom and is uh, taking the bell off the wall. So like I said, between start to finish, from the time she started the distraction to the time he walked away from talking to me, he was gone for maybe six minutes, six minutes. So hopefully the people that went in there in six minutes were able to get this thing off the wall. That would be the absolute best thing possible. Like, to, to be absolutely realistic with you, you know, uh, if, if they didn't, then we're screwed. He's gonna know. So I I'm walking away to get out of the hallway, but I had to walk back down the hallway past his room. So I'm kind of walking with him, and he walks into the classroom, and I just hear, no! And that's what I realized. We got it, because I'm sure he had gotten in and looked and been like, oh, crap, it's gone. So obviously, uh, later in the day, we have him. So we walk in, and we're looking all smug, and he's like, as you can tell, class, somebody was able to steal the bell, meaning that, you know, uh, whoever took it has 24 hours to come forward. And, like, as he's saying that, the kid who stole the bell gets up, opens his backpack and pulls it out and he's like what 
did you do it alone? And they're like, no. So we all stand up. We're like, we did it. And he's like, are you guys serious? Are you kidding me, Ryan? Do you even care about what we're learning about in class? And it was a cool teacher. So I was like, yeah, of course. I actually did have questions, which is why it was like a good distraction. And he's like, oh my God, you know, I've been doing this for so long. I never thought anybody was actually going to do it. Like everybody who had tried before you guys to get away with stealing this bell absolutely failed. So we get extra credit and everybody in the school is like talking about it. Everybody's walking up to me and like talking to me like how did you guys do it what was the plan what did you guys do and uh honestly i'm surprised that nobody had ever done it before because i as much as i'm gonna say like oh yeah it's hard no one could ever do it again it really wasn't that hard bro i literally just had to talk to him for five minutes like it wasn't that difficult and i'm surprised he let his guard down so much uh regardless you know i'm kind of a legend uh, around these parts with my fantastic skill for stealing bells Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. If you enjoyed, head over to the merch store down below and cop yourself some of the freshest merch in the game. Today's notification shout-out goes to CalebH612. Big shout-out to you for having on notifications. If you want a notification shout-out, you just got to do me a favor. Head over to my Instagram, at Scrubby, and send me a screenshot of your notifications for YouTube being on. But on that note, guys, that's gonna do it for the video. Don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot. Have yourselves a beautiful day, and I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.